Haiti is very complicated on many levels. I think it's a challenge sometimes to help people to understand sometimes the positives of Haiti because they've seen so many negatives. It can be a challenge to kind of balance the picture so that the reality of Haiti comes through to people who've never been there. They haven't seen people in extreme poverty who are joyful. Being in Port-au-Prince the day after the major Haiti earthquake and hearing a choir of 40,000 Christians singing praises to God who had lost their homes and family and jobs and everything. It was just such a reminder to prioritize how I spend my time and my energies and is it something that's gonna be everlasting or is it something that can be destroyed in this earth in a second? I think the real challenge is, is trying to hear God's will to know what, what the priority is because the needs are, are great, but we aren't there to, to fix all the problems, but we need to do the work that God's called us to do and things that will have eternal value. After the quake, the Lord gave me the opportunity and the privilege to write a Creole health book. Within half a year, he's opened the doors that over 10,000 copies of a 150-page health book are being distributed in Haiti. The Haitian people are, are very open to the gospel now. For example, if you're doing a gardening class, they're open to and even expect that you'll include some biblical principles or biblical lessons, and, and they're happy to have prayer. Right now is a very exciting time of spiritual, I think, awareness. In the Haitian church, we had 13 recently baptized. It's just a very exciting time as they learn to put their trust in God and leave the fears of the past behind. I think our vision stays kind of what it was, is to help equip the Haitian Christians so they can reach more of their own people, to help them realize their dreams, even to the point of sending missionaries to other countries from Haiti, so that someday we can all rejoice together. We really do uh, consider the prayers of our, our prayer partners essential to the work in Haiti. We're seeing the church grow and there's people being converted and discipled. I think we feel very privileged that we were the hands of all the people that support us, especially after the quake, because of the support, we were there at that time and able to touch people with God's love. Without the backing, we wouldn't be there, and what we do would, would stop. So thank you for your support.